clean live. Okay, you guys. So listen to what's going on. Tell me if this don't sound shady to you guys or not. You guys, guys. So I'm doing that show with RSA. There's been a lot of like fucking issues. And I don't feel like I'm the one that's being unreasonable here at all. First of all, there was no risk at all for him. And you know, he we had that whole debacle last week where I didn't like how he was inviting Rich Life to be a co-host. First of all, I would never get on with Rich. I don't like being live with other people anyways. But it's all right with CJ, I guess. Um No, well, fuck it. I'm just going to say it. So, I feel like He's sitting there, and I'll be I'll be quite honest with you. I feel like this dude, even though I have no platform right now, we never know when this is going to go down. I don't have a huge following right now. Most of my people don't even know where to find me, and that's fine. It's, you know, they'll eventually find me if they come look at me, is how I'm looking at it. But in the scheme of things, if he could do uh, his drama show, or the drama show, by himself, he would have already done it, or he'd be doing it and pulling the numbers, and he'd be confident in himself. However, you know, he wants me to do it, which is fine and dandy, and I've been doing it. I've been trying to take it seriously, showing up on time, doing what I say I'm going to do, and all that. And um, there's been some fast ones, you know, like pulled on me that I don't like. Like, last week, the whole rich life thing. Like, I'm never going to fucking do that, dude. I don't, I don't hardly know... CJ, much less some other stranger, and I haven't heard anything out of that dude's mouth. I like it all, so no, the fact that he asked him, and then he says it was a joke. Okay, whatever, well, I'll give you your joke, but don't ever fucking do that shit again, because that's not right. Well, then, 21st is payday, and I asked him a few days before, when I was telling him, I really don't want to do this anymore, because I'm not making anything off of it. I feel like this is your show, and you're... Honestly, I just feel like I'm getting kind of used to build your fucking channel right now. And it's not helping me in the slightest. It's not helping me. Because the people who are there for me are, are coming because they already know where to find me. I'm not finding new people at all. Or it's just... I, he's benefiting more is how I fucking feel like me. All right? Plain and simple. So, yada, yada, I said, well, how much an ad revenue was made? And he said, oh, it was like 500 so, you know, we'll do half, sees, whatever. Well, the 21st comes and goes, the 22nd comes and goes. I didn't hear from him until yesterday. And he calls me and says, hey, I got a problem. Um, I didn't get paid, which I know, uh, okay. Okay. So he didn't get paid, he had an excuse, so I had two absences, something like that, and they wouldn't take one, which I know is a, you can have one absence on multiple accounts, and that's the only way they'll let you do it, and they wouldn't even let you sign up for multiple ones, okay? So I'm just kind of, I just feel like, alright, I'm starting to get bullshitted, it's okay, whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, then he tells me about some other idea he has, and I'm just kind of like, uh, dude, we're already having problems this many. I don't know about this idea. Then last night, I'm trying to get everything ready for my fucking yard sale, and he calls me, and he sounds just fucked up as dog. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind anyone having a few cocktails or getting fucked up or whatever. whatever do whatever the fuck you do, but leave me out of it. Especially when I'm over here trying to do something to benefit my life, and you know, and you you have just stung me, is how I feel, okay? And I do. I can't help but to feel that way. Because how convenient. Payday comes and goes. You were getting paid the day before. Then you don't get paid. But the funny thing is, I went to Social Blade. And there's two good things about Social Blade that I learned. Number one, I still see that that channel's over there making ad revenue every day. So how in the fuck are you not getting paid? That's It's bullshit, is what it is. You can go to Social Blade, put in real fucking drama, and you can see how many subscribers he's gained and, you know, the channel's gained in the past 30 days, how much that revenue should be, and all this. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. And it's still ticking, like the, like the number's there, which means it's still actively making money, but whatever. Apparently, he's not getting paid on it, okay, whatever. And then 
Okay, so I learned that, but the second time, second thing that I learned is if you put in Miss Fucking Wonderful, it doesn't show up this channel, it shows up my original channel, which means they have not completely terminated my original channel from the platform. It literally is current to the day that they did stop my channel, where I couldn't get views in or anything anymore, like what you guys see now, but it's still in their system, which means they have not completely terminated my channel, which gives me a little bit of hope. Anyways, um, so, it's like the other day, I thought he was real fucked up when he was live, okay? And then last night when he called me, like, let's go live, I said, no, I'm getting ready for my yard sale. I got shit to do. And I'm sitting there doing it. And then like an hour later, I, he calls back and this time he's real fucked up and he's like, Hey, some girl wants to rip you an asshole. Why don't you come up here? And I'm like, wh who? What in the fuck? And I told you what I'm doing. And quit volunteering me on your channel to get uh, go and go at people. Like, who the fuck am I? Like, what are you using me as? Like a fucking security guard now or something? I don't know. I just, I didn't, it rubbed me fucking wrong. Okay, completely. Like, I don't know what the fuck he was trying to pull last night. So I was like, where are you even live? And then he tells me, so I go and I look, and guess who's sitting there? <laughs> guess who's sitting there on panel with him? Fucking Abe, who I believe is Savage's best friend, am I wrong? So you're fucking with my enemy's friends, so you're fucking with people who fuck with people I don't fuck with. And that's one of my biggest things. I don't do that shit. So I'm sitting there and, and and I'm listening to what the fuck they're saying and they're talking about anal and they're talking about this and I'm like, there is nothing fucking entertaining being said right now. I can't believe I'm sitting, this, this isn't even, this was like, it reminded me of some shit that Savage would be sitting on panel with and it immediately grossed me out, turned my stomach and I had the thought right then and there, I can no longer do that fucking show. How many red fucking flags are there gonna be until I'm, until it hits me right in the fucking face? You know what I mean? I didn't really know the guy, you know, he was, he wanted me to come on his channel and I told him no, no, no for many years and finally when I got desperate for money, he offered, I said, you got to pay me, and I did, and it, from there, I thought we got on from that interview pretty well, and then he seemed like he was a, he wasn't drunk or whatever in the fuck, I, I don't think that's drunk, I know a drunk, it's, there's some kind of, and I don't want to say it, I don't want to accuse anybody of anything, because I really don't give a fuck, I'm just saying there's something going on there, I can tell a difference, all right? And the last couple times, like, even when he got mad and went live on his channel and started pouting about me and made it seem like he was the victim, like, I did something to him. And then I told my side of the story and people were like, oh, okay. I don't know, you guys. Like, I have been stabbed in the fucking back so many times and in the front that I just feel, I like, I know when it's coming and I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't. And it's not like the people who I met from his channel are really cool. And, you know, I don't want to, like, offend them or anything. But I just don't feel like this is going to be good for me in the long run. I feel like even by me saying this, I feel like I'm putting myself in jeopardy of getting fucking shit talked by him tonight on a band with a panel of fucking near-to-wells of people who I wouldn't be caught dead with. Okay, these are like people who I don't want, even when I was at the worst of my addiction, I still knew in my heart I could not be associated with these type of people. And it seems like those are his friends and I did not know this. Okay, and it's not someone I want to sit there and it's, they're not people I could have fun with. I just don't like it. That's how, I don't know how else to explain it. It's not that I'm saying they're bad people or I'm saying... They're this or that, or I'm just saying they're just, we're all, we're cut from different cloth. We all may be white trash, okay, but we're different kind of trash. And I don't know if I really want to get what I'm trying to do, you know, involved in something like that. I know I don't. 
So I've been thinking a lot about it last night and this morning. And I just, I don't think this is a good thing for me. You know, because I'll be honest with you, uh, when I've made like some donate, you know, donations while we are live, but they're all from my people anyways. Like I've gotten one or two, I'm not going to lie, from his people, which is very nice and I appreciate it. Cool. Thank you very much. But the majority of any kind of anything that I've made was because it were my fucking people donating to me through my PayPal. See what I'm saying? I don't know. I just got a bad feeling. And I can't afford another bad decision. You know what I mean? Well, it's it's kind of like he benefits and I because I can't have my own platform. But here they have, you know, I get shut down and make a new one. So I can make my own platform if I want to. I don't need anyone to have a fucking drama show, okay? I can, and as a matter of fact, I run it better when I'm by myself because I'm in control of shit and I don't have to worry about what comes out of other people's mouths. So. And there's, they say, like, fucking, and I know, damn it, and I don't want to get into this argument. I know I've said horrible shit, too, in the past. But I don't make it a fucking habit of saying shit like that. But these people, this is their normal conversation, okay? And I don't like it. Like, they say offensive fucking things about gay people, black people, every kind of people. I'm not saying just CG, just that group of fucking people do. And that truly can offend and hurt me because I have a big, diverse subscriber base, okay? And I don't want their, what they're saying to reflect back on me and hurt my people's feelings because they think I'm running around with a bunch of fucking jabronis or something. I'm not. I'm just trying to make extra money. That's why I even agreed to do the fucking show, okay? That was it. it because... If I was still work, I would be like, mm, I didn't really have to do it. You know, I'll just wait for my own. I've never had to rely on somebody else. Ever. For the, I don't know. Because I don't want to, you know, offend these people either. Because they're fucking... I'm going to be very careful about what... I don't want to offend this group of people either because I can't afford people coming after me. And some of, their, some of the people that they hang out with are cool, but the majority of it... When, I think we attract a different sort of crowd. And I think in the long run, in the grand scheme of things... The crowd that I attract would not appreciate that crowd, and I could possibly lose subscribers. And me right now, I, I can't do, afford that shit. I can't. Like, you guys know where I'm at, but what about new people, or just the people who haven't found me yet, or, you know, and sh like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking about it so much. I used to not give a fuck about shit like this, but for some reason right now I care a lot. I, I haven't told anybody about that. You guys, I haven't even told Doug that I haven't gotten paid. I haven't told any of my friends or anything. Because I know what they'll all say. They'll be like, well then why the fuck are you doing it? I'm like, I'm surprised my mom hasn't asked yet. Because she watches them and stuff. You know? I haven't told any of my mods. You guys are hearing this all first. Because it just happened yesterday. And uh, I've been sitting there. I did it. I was thinking about it. And then uh, after the two phone calls and then the live stream I saw. I was just like, Katie. Don't do it. I mean, and what in God's name? Why would he think that I would want to go on a panel and fucking fight with somebody? Do I ever fucking do that shit? I never go on panels, period. I've never, I've been on his one time in the history of the years of him trying to ask me to come on there. 
why the fuck would he think that I would want to argue with someone on there? Like, what, what are you doing? I don't even know what the fuck is going through his head. Like, are you, okay, first of all, you guys are probably thinking the same things I am. I'm not. Like I said, and then I got on to the, uh, I got on to listening. And I didn't like the conversation at all. I'm going to get a drink of some sort.